Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. Somebody wants you to get off your high horse. Somebody has a problem with the fact that you're independent. Being independent means that you're going towards success and they can't share in that success with you. A lot of you, either you're already very financially stable or you're moving into a time of your life where there's more prosperity and abundance coming. Your business could be improving. I think that that came out in the reading that I just recorded. Well, I was saying for some of you, especially you have these pocket watchers, you know, and, and you will see it happen in anything. If you buy a new car, people are wondering, hmm, where did you get the money to buy that from? If you, you know, change um your residence you get a new apartment or condo or you buy a house people are wondering so what exactly are you doing how did that manifest how did you manifest that you know if you have a small business people they're curious how much money is that business coming especially if you have a small business and you have um a career that you you know what i'm saying like a salary job or whatever people are really trying to figure out how exactly are you making it how are you manifesting how are you maintaining? People don't like the fact that you're showing up in the world as someone who maybe you have a soft life. Maybe you have wealth or stability, security of like just abundance. They don't like that. So what they're trying to do now, look, eight of swords is they want you to feel restricted or they want to restrict things for you. They want you to feel like you need to be backed into a corner like you're a victim. Even though you come out of these cycles, they still want you to feel like you should be helpless or hopeless. It, it, it doesn't matter how far you get in life. These are the same people who every single time they see you moving forward, they come in to try to play tricks on your mind. And look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is mad that you're not the Pentacles going to the Ten of Pentacles because you released some kind of heartbreak. You're no longer heartbroken by somebody. Whether it's a job, a friend, family member, you're no longer heartbroken about this. Like you've released the pain, you're not depressed. I just saw 1010 on the clock. You're moving out of the Ten of Swords energy into the Ten of Pentacles. You're turning this pain into your purpose. That pain is leading you to a lot of prosperity and abundance. And somebody's like, they don't understand how is it that they've done so much, this miserable person, to cause so many obstacles and challenges for you, and yet you keep elevating. And those of you who have a business or something, you know, people, people can can read into any situation if you have a business well, i'm actually the spirit is showing me right now. i'm seeing for some of you like if you post oh you sell something and it's sold out people already know okay then that means business is going well for you if you're selling products and your products are selling out and they know what those products cost per unit you have people that are sitting back and they are trying to calculate hmm i wonder how much money is that that their person is bringing in they're down, I'm, I'm saying somebody, they're literally trying to figure out how much are your, how much is the shipment of your, somebody is trying to figure out how much profit are you making from your business. You know, it's interesting because I mentioned how one of my videos from two months ago was restricted. People on YouTube, you you can't hide your subscribers so people will sit there and they will look at your subscribers they will look at your views and they're trying to figure out so what can i do to sabotage that that's that's how people are and it comes from your friends family and it's, it's unfortunate but even your lover these are a lot of people who are just jealous of your independence because they lack the creativity or the manifestation power to do things because these are individuals who are always stuck feeling defeated if you're stuck feeling defeated, that means that you stay in an energy of playing the victim. These are people who refuse to change their ways. And so when they can't change their ways or make a situation go the way that they want, they start to spiritually bully other people who are actually in alignment. So you have to be very careful because I feel, yeah, the judgment is here and the chariot. 
there is a major awakening here. I feel like many of you, you've gone with, within, especially during this Virgo season, and you've, you've assessed and evaluated who you are, where you are. Perhaps you are um, planning for your future, and the devil is here in the reverse. The devil is here in the reverse. The emperor is in the reverse, and the knight of wands is in the reverse. You're standing your ground for some of you, for sure, to some type of masculine energy here. And it's so interesting how spirit will confirm things for me because I'm telling you, they're reading that I just posted before where I said like the angels and the ancestors, they're so tired of people attack you that they're calling on God themselves to get you away from this narcissist. In their reading, it felt so heavily like it was a woman. But then I checked my email and the reading literally was like a male Jezebel is cloaking themselves. That's spirit's way of telling me, no, it's not a woman that you need to be Paying, it's a man that's in the background that's doing this. For some of you, you think it's a, 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 a man that's doing this and it's actually a woman. And please don't ever think that it can't be those closest to you. Your, your best friend or family member could be the main person doing this because they're the real shady energy of somebody laughing, giggling, and smiling in your face who's collecting information about your life and they're going in the background and in the spirit to destroy you. Somebody is very upset with the Queen of Swords here about the fact that you're standing your ground. When you have the devil, the emperor, and the knight of wands in the reverse, this is someone who is just completely reckless. This is a very, like a distorted masculine energy, very, very karmic. This is someone who refuses to free themselves from bondage. And this person now is the, the devil in the reverse. This person feels like they don't have anything else to lose. Like they're completely at the end. And now this person is abusing their power. This is possibly a person too. If they have any kind of spiritual gifts, they're abusing them. This person, they don't have any control over themselves anymore. And this is coming out now right underneath the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is at the end of the role when it comes to some kind of abundant lifestyle. And it's probably because they're receiving judgment and karma for the type, the ways that they try to restrict other people. This person has been trying to restrict independent individuals, especially feminines. And now karma is catching up with this person. And this is someone that you are standing your ground to. You're letting this person know, I'm, I'm not coming back. I'm not going to let you dictate and control my life. And now keep in mind, this is an emperor in the reverse. This could be an extremely masculine woman, okay? But this is someone that you have to tell, like, no, I've released the pain. I'm optimistic and I'm happy about moving forward in my life. But you have to make head over heart decisions here. Yeah, you're freeing yourself, for sure, from the five of cups. You're moving forward. You're not stuck in this energy of you know, regret and, and heartbreak, you're, you're out of that. Queen of Wands and the Empress. So what this is telling me is that for some of you, it's for sure a man. For some of you, it's a woman. But also with this Queen of Wands and this Empress in the reverse, this could be um, a woman that's carrying the same reckless energy as this masculine. For some of you, this is actually a couple who has been attacking you nonstop. Okay. And they're at the end. This could definitely be a couple, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here. You have the Emperor and I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I mean, seriously, I don't think I have ever seen that. I'm not joking. You have the Emperor and the Empress in the reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. So these two, this, this is a couple, they had it all. But two of these two people, they're not actually divine. They're in a distorted energy and they're reckless. And what these people like to do is they like to create bondage and restriction for other people so that they can actually manifest. But see, somebody, people are freeing themselves from this, this person or this couple that is so reckless. They're, you, you're getting free. So if this is your story, you could, like I said, it could be a man and a woman or a man or a woman. Take it how it resonates. But you're free. For some of you, it could even be your own parents. You're freeing yourself from this energy because the Ten of Pentacles could definitely speak of family. For some of you, you have some extremely overbearing, toxic parents 
and they're watching your money. They're trying to figure out how you're growing and building in life. Maybe they want to take all of your money for themselves. You have to get out of this energy. Yeah, because it's causing some kind of anxiety. This could be a masculine out here who has some very overbearing parents. I'm picking up somebody here who definitely could be helping like their parents financially. And it's taking a toll on them. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves and say, listen, I can't pay your bills for your household anymore. But this is someone who has been taught guilt and shame because their parents have raised them to be codependent. So when this person needs to say no, they feel bad about it. Although them taking care of somebody is, is what it's exhausting them. This could be you or someone that you're connected to. For, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is, is standing free and independent from, from family. And I feel like somebody has a lot of anxiety about saying no. Somebody is... is is afraid to tell like their parents to say, I can't pay that bill anymore. I can't take care of that because they've been taught. You have to do this for your parents or you have to do this for this person. That No, you don't. You, these people are not your responsibility. And so with this Virgo new moon, when so many people are stepping into more of this independent energy, it's really triggering a lot because people, you're going to see if, if I keep taking care of my parents, my family, these grown kids, or whomever, if I continue, I'll never have my own independence. I'll never be able to do anything for myself. This is a collective energy of whatever you are taking care of out of guilt, you're going to have to let it go. If you're taking care of grown kids who need to be out working, taking care of their, you're, you're going to have to let it go. If you're taking care of your um, people in your family, your parents even, some of you, you're just the people pleaser or you're dealing with that. Type. You have people around you. They just know that you, you have money. So it's just use that person's money. You can have a business and you have people around you because they're your friends and family. They just assume that you're supposed to give them stuff for free. But you doing all of this giving is now causing issues for you. This is somebody's message. Yeah, you're feeling defeated. You're feeling defeated because you won't surrender this situation. You won't let this go. And it's causing you self-sabotage. That's why the Nine of Swords is here. Yeah, and the Five of Swords. You're feeling defeated because you're now sabotaging yourself or your business or your opportunities to have a family or business of your own because you're so busy taking care of someone else. This person or this, this family member or, home or this group, this is not your responsibility. And I understand wanting to do things out of the kindness of your heart. But look, the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah. You need to be careful. Because you're, you could easily go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse... would be someone definitely who's losing their pentacle. That's, that's financial hardship. Or somebody is being bullied by a queen of pentacles. There could be someone out here, there's a queen of pentacles who's really bad with money. They're trying to bully possibly a masculine. They're becoming aggressive like this person is la lazy they're they're not stable this person neglects their responsibilities and when they mess something up they just want to go and call somebody else to fix it so you being this you know whoever you are if this is your story you need to start telling people no because it feels like you're getting really, really close to a major breakthrough in your own life and you keep allowing these energy vampires to come in and to drain you. 
And I've talked about, it's like here you are in running this marathon, and you have your, your torch, your baton, and before you can even cross the finish line, good, you're giving it to somebody else. You need to allow yourself to have a win and stop being so concerned with other people winning that you're willing to take a loss. Because that's what this is. Somebody, and if you're not doing this, someone is trying to manipulate you or get you to come in to assist them. I don't think right now for a lot of people, this is not the season or time for you to help other people. It, it, it just depends. People who God have assigned to your life and has told you, yes, I see you and this person building and working together cool but people who have just been attached to you and they're toxic and they're codependent they don't want to think for themselves they don't want to work for themselves and they want to come in and mooch off of you hell no let these people go on and live their life and do what they need to do it's too many people who watch you sail your boat and when they're out in the middle of of of, of the ocean without a paddle all of a sudden they think honey they will swim to you to poke holes in your boat you need to let those people go because this is not okay. And for some of you, this emperor and this empress in the reverse is also possibly even a divine couple. And the reason why I say that is because the Ten of Pentacles is in the upright. If you and this person who are trying to come together or build something, if you don't stop being reckless with your energy, giving in to these different people around you who are spiritually bullying you, you and this person will never be able to build anything. The Ten of Pentacles is here in, in the upright because there is a blessing of abundance here. But if you don't get your energy together and realize that it's not your responsibility, to take care of everybody else, you and this person, you won't be able to come together and take care of yourselves or one another or build your own legacy. It's like somebody literally is handing their birthright and their legacy to somebody else. Or somebody is manipulating you or doing spell work in hopes that you will do that. The Hierophant and the reverse. Family. Tradition. Somebody is, is trying to force a person to conform to this, this idea that, oh, you have to take care of this or, you know, you're responsible for taking care of a household or a family. And for some of you, if you're married, you can have like a, um, your spouse is trying to convince you that you're supposed to take care of your in-laws or something like that. No, you're not. You don't have to do that if you don't. It, it's just something here. It's too much. It's too much. But somebody is trying to take advantage of your kindness. Yeah, the hermit in the reverse. Don't let the fear of, of you being alone or, or isolated have you paralyzed by fear of losing anybody. And see, you're coming out of a period in your life of being restricted because the nine of pentacles is here with the chariot. You're moving forward. You don't have any blockages in your path. Where you keep getting blocked is feeling like you need to help these people who actually need to help themselves. The Seven of Pentacles is in the reverse. Again, going back to those of you, if you resonate with this being about a couple, somebody here has made a really bad business investment. It's not panning out how they thought it would. They're stuck right now. Two of swords. They're, they're in some stalemate energy. They're at a crossroads. They can't move forward. Yeah, these people here, the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. They were waiting on some type of good outcome in a situation that was going to bring them a bunch of money. It's not coming. Mm -mm, it's not. These people could have been spiritually attacking you, harvesting your energy or something like that, and they honestly thought that by trying to tear you down or hurt you, have you in some kind of mental imprisonment? For some of you, they wanted you in actual jail. They thought that this was going to bring them good news. But the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. So that means that whatever pentacle they were working on that they thought was going to bring them the Ten of Pentacles, it's not. These people are about to have serious money problems. Yeah, the Six of Cups is in the reverse. And these are some people who you left behind. Like I said, for some of you, it's a family. Because the Six of Cups in the reverse could talk about 
um, you leaving like your childhood friends or your hometown, leaving that behind, like leaving the past behind. This could be a past soulmate or whatever, but you're leaving something behind here with the six of cups. The past is being left behind. You've left someone behind who could have been married in a relationship with someone else and they teamed up against you. Or like I said, it could actually be your family, however it resonates. But these people, they're mad that you left them behind because they can't get something from you. The Ace of Swords is here in the reverse. They can't get your ideas. The Strength card is in the reverse. Yeah, they've run out of all strength. Somebody here has, has no real ideas. So for some of you, this is actually something pretty major. It's like somebody who doesn't have any ideas on how to make money or how to manifest. They've been copying you or your energy or stealing something from you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords is in the reverse. Somebody here has been stealing from you. And they're at the end of the road. It, they, they can't tap into something anymore. They don't have the access. They don't have the code. They can't get something from you anymore. There's something that you have that has been creating wealth for you. And there's a person, either someone in your family or there's a couple here who has a family. They've been stealing from you. The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. The Four of Wands in the reverse. Somebody's whole life, their, their lifestyle, their household, family, everything is upside down. Literally, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Strength in the reverse. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Six of Cups in the reverse. That's telling you everything. Their whole life is upside down now. Everything. Somebody is stressed out about this. For some of you too, this could for sure be someone that you left behind from your past. The emperor and the emperor in the reverse could also be a karmic couple. They could have went and got married or got themselves in a long-term committed relationship because they thought it was going to bring the Ten of Pentacles. That's not what happened. If they did have the Ten of Pentacles, they're losing everything now. And that's why they are, for some of you, they're going as far as to even do spell work on you. They're trying to have you in this mindset that Something is wrong with you. This is so that they can make another attempt to steal from you energetically. It's nothing wrong with you. King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this is a narcissist. This person is devious and they're ruthless. When it comes, this person will do anything for money. Anything. And whatever they did to you, it was the King of Swords is someone who who thinks a lot. This was premeditated. To come and steal something from you or to use or abuse you in some way, it was very much premeditated. For some of you, you need to be careful because the person is out here, they're married, they're in an unhealthy marriage, they're going broke with someone that they're married to or they have a family that's going broke. They're trying to come in and figure out the best way to swindle you to take your money, to give it back to somebody. Yeah, Ace of Cups. And they probably are pretending that they love you. No, this person is facing a lot of burdens in their life. There's, this isn't a, a, a new relationship or love. This person is burdened by their responsibilities and they have all of this stress because they're restricted. They can no longer steal. Ten of swords in the reverse. There you have it. Ten, ten and the ace of cups. For some of you, you do have new love. And that's the reason why this person is trying to do all of this stuff. In the, in, yeah. For some of you, this ace of cups, it is new love with the star card here. And somebody is sick. Why? Because they let you go and they jumped on an opportunity to have a bunch of money with somebody. And I'm not, I'm not going to say that they never made money, but they made money because they were stealing. They were doing something illegal or, or it was just unfair. Well, now karma is coming in. They're going to lose everything that they, they gain from whatever this scheme or scandal is. This same couple or this situation has been coming out for a while. And I feel like I said in the reading before, God is just tired of this. It's like your angels and your ancestors, they, they keep coming in to protect you. But they're like, e even they're struggling because this person, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's like Archangel Michael is like, you know what, God, this has become too much for me. I'll need for you to step in. And you already know if God has to step in, then that's it. <laughs> this is the final judgment. 
Because th these people, they won't stop. This Ace of Cups and the Star, somebody knows this is why they're attacking you now to make you think that you're losing because they know their wish fulfillment is coming towards you. You're at the Nine of Pentacles. You have new love or just some type of new beginning that brings you wish fulfillment. You could be receiving a lot of love and attention from people, like an outpouring of love from different people or whatever. This person, they're trying to come in and block you because a situation that they chose over you is not panning out for them. And they're losing and they're about to lose their finances. This is someone who was okay with not having love because they had money. Well, now they don't have love and they're about to lose all their money too. So that means that they're without everything and they're going into poverty. Five of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is in the reverse because this person is about to lose all of their possessions. And they're going to be in poverty. This person literally, I just heard like... This person may lose a home, a car. There could be a foreclosure. They may be forced to file bankruptcy. Definitely a lot of downsizing. Yeah, page of cups. This person wants you or they wanted you to take an offer from them. But no. Five of wands in the reverse. This conflict in your life is about to be over. And you've had to be resilient for a long time. Nine of Wands, Three of Wands, Two of Wands. Yeah. You could have even had to move away from this person because they, they were causing so many issues for you. This person, this family, this couple, they could be at a distance from you. But see, you already know something. Three of Wands, something good is coming in for you because you made a choice. You had two different paths, two different choices. And this person also had a choice. They chose money over love. Now, they're not going to have the money or the love. Nine of Cups is in the reverse. Six of Pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah. This person's life is a nightmare. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. They're losing everything. Unpaid bills, money problems, debt, bankruptcy. Like this person is miserable because probably they probably did some magic and it backfired. The moon in the reverse and the magician. This person tried to cre create some type of illusions and they wanted you to have a bunch of instability. They did this out of spite. They came at you with a vengeance using magic or manipulation because they were mad and this has destroyed their life ten of cups in the reverse it's over because they refused to learn a lesson the world in the reverse everything is in the reverse this person will not have any kind of victory or success they won't be achieving anything else and and this now this person literally has created a lot of issues for their actual family and, and I kept picking up before about someone taking care of their family. This could be someone who is wealthy and they do take care of their parents. They're about to lose everything. They won't be able to take care of their, their friends, their family, their parents, or even their own household because they're about to lose everything for what they've done to innocent people who are independent. But for some of you, this person, they really went the wrong way when they decided to target you to do all of this wrongdoing and foul stuff to you but simply because you turned them down or reject whatever it is this person got mad at you yeah you turned their offer down nine of cups in the reverse you you didn't want to be with this person you didn't want to work with, for some of you you decided that you didn't want to work with this person with the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles the ace of wands you were not inspired to work with this person for some of you too this is someone who could have told you that they wanted to work with you but they really wanted to sleep with you you knew they wanted to sleep with you and it wasn't about money it wasn't about business you turned their offer down and i don't know they came at you with some type of vengeance retaliating against you for some of you this could be a workplace situation you could have a boss this person could have sexually tried to sexually assault you in some type of way or they tried to violate you. This person could be married with kids and everything. This literally could be for some of you like a, an actual workplace, like a lawsuit. Yeah, the high priestess is in the reverse. This person didn't trust their intuition. 
and they try to use some kind of prejudice against you because they could not control their emotions. Yeah, the King of Wands and the Death card. This person, somebody here was obsessed with trying to sleep with you or something or get your energy because the Queen of Cups, you're very nurturing. <laughs> and you may have been okay with hanging out with this person, but you don't want to be in a relationship with this person. This person lost it. Yeah, the Three of Cups is in the upright, but the Two of Cups is in the... So you may have been like, well, yeah, we can be friends. We can hang out, have a drink here and there. But you probably thought to say, I know you're married. So you may have been like, you know, we can hang out, socialize. If I see you out, this, you know, hey, how you doing? But you you didn't want to be in a relationship with this person. So they decided, okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to destroy your life. And it has backfired. This person won't be able to take care of their spouse, their children, or their parents. If they have parents or other family members that's depending on them, they won't be able to take care of anybody. This person is about to lose everything. Every, they're going to lose everything. And this definitely could be like a, like I said, a business owner, someone's boss. They could, this person is so, they got so mad when you rejected them that they decided to retaliate and try to destroy your life. And it's coming back to bite them bad. Wow. So this is like a boss or a CEO, whether you, whether this is like an ex of yours or your actual boss. But when you turn this person down, and for some of you, you it definitely upset this person because you won't sleep with them. Mm -hmm. But see, the reason why this person wants you to sleep with them, this person wanted you to sleep with them so that they could steal your energy. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanted the two of you to be sleeping together and have some kind of business relationship. This was never about love. They wanted to steal your energy and use you to, to make money. But they are married. And they're going to stay in their other relationship because they have an understanding. These two people in this karmic relationship, the emperor and the empress, both in the reverse, they make enough money to take care of themselves and their family. But this person wants to use you sexually to harvest your good energy to help them make more money. Your energy gives them, um, your energy helps them to manifest abundance. So when you decide, when you turn this person down, they lost it. And the, the high priestess is in the reverse and the king of wands is in the reverse. This person tried to block your intuition so that you wouldn't recognize that they were lying to you. This is a very, like, devious person. And they're an opportunist. They'll do anything to make money. Wow. <laughs> What's that? Causing you to feel lightheaded, severe headaches and migraines. Severe headaches and migraines. This person could definitely be doing, like, some kind of spiritual or psychic or tech. Especially if you're someone that has spiritual or psychic gifts with the high priestess in the reverse. Yeah, this person was trying to block your root chakra. They don't want you to feel grounded or stable. Like I said, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. They don't want you in this earth energy of being grounded and stable and making your money. They're hating on your successful life choices because remember, they had a choice too, the two of wands. But their lack of foresight and their lack of patience with the three of wands, they chose some situation that they wanted a get rich quick situation. And so that's what they chose instead of them tapping into their own solar place of chakra, meaning instead of them having the willpower to find their life purpose, they went after money. This says neighborhood drama. These people could be getting kicked out of a house. And they're a stalker. This person is trying to make you live in fear and, and paranoia. They could be doing glamour magic. They secretly keep tabs on your every move. Beware of anyone new entering your life. This person could be trying to send someone new towards you to cause problems for you. They could be trying to cause problems with your car. Beware of anyone new or anyone um, old entering your life. You know, don't don't be afraid to meet people. But there is a particular situation in your life where you have someone they they're sending people towards you or they're sending different monitoring spirits towards you so that they can watch you. 
And they want you to act out of character. They want you to be irrational, having mood swings and, you know, to push people away from you or to just trip out like on your job so that you will lose your... This person, if, if they could cause you to lose everything, they would. Scorn love. I keep telling y'all. You have somebody, baby, that you rejected that it's like if it's yeah, this information, the situation could leave you shook. This person is extremely codependent. They're toxic. Really what this is, you guys, literally, you rejected somebody. This person is in a very long-term committed relationship or they're married. When you decided not to sleep with this person or you cut them out of your life, you may not have known what this person was doing to you spiritually and energetically. This person is for sure doing something to steal your energy. You have the kind of energy that manifests abundance. So what was really sad is for some of you, you probably have had a lot of hardship yourself. It's because this person has been draining your root chakra, solar plexus and sacral chakra, all of your creative energy, your willpower to be abundant, your root chakra to bring about stability and security. They've been draining it for themselves to build their home with someone else. Now that you hopefully are cleansing and clearing this person out of your energy and you're awakening to what they're doing, that means that whatever karmic house they built on your energy is tumbling and it's falling now. And that's why they're so mad. Look at that. Dead. It says something has come to a complete end. This is a transformation that's happening because this person is getting caught up. I'm sorry for the glare too, guys. I don't know why it's like this. But this card says caught up. Yeah, they're getting caught up because they're infatuated with you. This card says sexual desires. They're infatuated with, with your, um, your sexual energy. And this person definitely has been causing blockages with your sacral chakra because they don't want you to create. And all of this is because the grass was the grass was green because it was fake. What they chose over you, Christmas here, they thought that this new this other situation was was such a great gift, but behind the scenes this person is miserable. Yeah, and you're an inspiration to someone and you're leveling up. So they're watching you and your life level up and they feel like you're the missing piece. But see, it's not because they love you. They need your energy to manifest. I don't even think that this person will ever actually be with you. They just they want to be where they are. They just want your energy. That's it. Spell work and they cast spells. Because this person is so upset about being bound in a situation. They have a lot of deep, like suppressed, submerged and repressed feelings and emotions. And they're bound to this situation. And, and it's something about this person. They hate to be embarrassed. A lot of people are going to be talking about this individual. There's a lot of rumors that's going to be happening about how this person, they lost their upgrade. So this person could have like gotten a really nice house, nice car, started a business. They're about to lose all of that. And people are going to be talking about this person and, and whoever they're with like, wow. Meanwhile, you're in your life purpose. Remember before I said for some of you, this is a boss. They could be fired. This person, I'm saying this person could be escorted out and fired because they keep lying. This person has lied about a lot and they're obsessed. If this is a workplace situation, this person is going to get in some kind of trouble and a part of their legal situation, they're going to have to, they're going to be required to go to a therapist. And th this person could have a sexual addiction. They're extremely um stubborn you could have really been guarding yourself because you knew this person there is something with their their sexual fantasies addictions sexuality or something it's like it's really like this person just wanted you to be like their little plaything. they constantly have romantic thoughts and sexual fantasies about you but this person does magic they do magic or it, it's something about, I'm sorry, it's something about, sex. like, this person, this person is a sex addict. 
they really feel like I'm hearing um, Rihanna's song. Well, she said, sex with, sex with me so amazing. This, this person is addicted to you. Your body, something. So for some of you, you, you have slept with this person. But when you decided to stop sleeping with them, they, they lost it. And their life is going through some, it's like this person, their life, they're going through some kind of transformation in their life where they're bound to a situation. And they feel like if they could just sleep with you, it would make things better. But for some of you, this person likes to sleep with certain people who have a certain type of energy because they harvest that energy. That's not every, everyone is not doing spell work, but for some of you, it's like somebody is just addicted to you sexually and they are going crazy that you're not sleeping with them right now while they are going through some type of situation in their, li their life where they feel bound. For some of you, there's someone out here who they're retaliating against you because you're not allowing them to tap into your energy or sleep with them. And they can't steal your energy. They feel like if they could just sleep with you and steal your energy, it would help them to stop losing so much. Some, it's something about a person. Look, house. Someone's security, stability. Somebody could lose a house. Whoever this, whoever resonates, it's something about your energy. And I'll be honest, I'm picking up so many, like I'm picking up the, the boss, I'm picking up the ex-lover, I'm picking up something with family. All of these things could be separate or for some of you, all of them are connected. But you need to be very careful at this time with your sexual energy because obviously that's how so many people connect to you. You have energy vampires who are trying to connect to you. I don't know if you know how powerful your energy is. But somebody here has energy that manifests abundance or it's very healing. Like if, if, if a person, and, and I'm assuming this for sure could be like a divine feminine energy, these different masculine energies, when they can sleep with you, they feel like you can heal their family. You can help them have abundance. You can help them to think better. Um, for some, so for some of you, like it's, it's healing. And you could have more than one person in your energy. Somebody's looking at you like they need to sleep with you for healing. For some of you, somebody's like they need to sleep with you to, for a, a financial come up. This could be one person or several. I'm picking up for somebody out here, to be honest. You could have recently decided to like abstain from sex or become celibate or something. You, you could, spirits telling me, for some of you, you've been celibate for a long time or you've been abstaining. But for some of you, that, you know, everybody is adult. You could have been, listen to me, I'm whispering like this is just so inappropriate to say. <laughs> it's just something you don't want to talk about. But you, if you are into self-pleasure, somebody was... Um, energetically connecting with you through that so let's say if you've been abstaining and celibate but you even have decided not to self-pleasure self-please or whatever they're like what's going on like they don't know what to do that it's a fork in the road they're confused they're, they're like i don't understand why can't I get this person's energy? It's because you're not engaging in anything sexual. Either that's what you're doing right now and it is helping you to purge this person out or it's what you need to do. And I had a reading a few weeks ago where I was talking about divine beings right now. Now is not the time for you to be sleeping with people. It's too much going on with your energy. Your energy is too... It's too um, sensitive, too sacred. And you can have a person that knows that you are 
I'm saying it, they're possibly trying to send you, they could be lo doing love spells, sex spells, where they're trying to make you, what I'm, I'm hearing, um, they want to give you the fever. Is that a song? <laughs> they want you hot for them. Because this person could be, I don't know, astral projecting or something like, they could be trying to come to you in the 5D and have like relations with you or something like that. Like that, this person is trying to spiritually sleep with you because I don't think that for some of you, this is someone in your life currently or in your environment. And it's very strange to me because it's like for some of you, you have a person that's actually in your life. They miss sleeping with you because it's healing, but you have a person Who's not around you, but they energetically are connecting with you sexually because they're going in, 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 in a spirit realm trying to sleep with you to get your energy. Ooh, my goodness. You, you must have some real powerful, powerful energy. This, this is a divine feminine energy, though. You, you, you hold that power to manifest your energy brings about fertility and abundance and you have someone but like i said it's i'm picking up more than one person this could be like a group that's doing this you have a wealthy man here they know you have a gift your gift honestly your gift wow wealthy man gift and great fortune main female occupation with toil and labor and child coffin marriage whoa okay this person has been stealing from you for a long time some of you you've been working really hard on manifesting a new beginning this wealthy man out here this person all of their wealth and everything is comes from your gift Either they've been stealing something from you, like actual money, stealing ideas, content, information, or energy, or all of the above. I feel like somebody, you've been working so hard, and you're like, why, why aren't things manifesting? Keep in mind, too, this, this could be happening to a man. There could be a man who is just struggling to produce anything. It's because their energy is being stolen. Stolen from somebody else. You have child, coffin, and marriage. Community, sudden will. Child, coffin, marriage, community. Somebody chose to marry someone in the community, or they chose to get married to someone who was a part of some type of so secret society or community for a new beginning. They sacrificed a connection with you. So they ended something to go into a contract with this community so that they could have a new beginning. And their new beginning was supposed to bring them sudden wealth. And I feel like it did for a long time. But now that you're awakening, they're like, whoa, 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 what's happening? Wow. Yeah, adjudication. Message of concern. It's judgment day. I'm hearing the word inducted. Inducted or initiated. I'm hearing, you know, like people, you're inducted into the honor society. Somebody could have a child that has been inducted into the honor society, but there is a possibly like a secret society of people who are supposed to be considered uh people of high honor so we're going to say like an affluent group of people it feels almost like if somebody could be age 39 it feels like a person may have been advised that they needed to be married to get into this particular group or something and they may have rushed to marry somebody else because they knew you wouldn't marry them but they use your energy 
to manifest certain things, but they're in a contract or an arrangement with somebody else. And these people are to the community, they're they're married, whether legally or not. That's coming to an end. These people, like literally, they they had a full come up on your energy. You live at a distance from these people for some of you. Yeah, you're the privileged lady. See, on your pathway, you're supposed to be privileged. But what they've been doing, this false person, I'm reading this as they have lied and said that you were a false person or they've been trying to feed you the belief that you're not supposed to be privileged. Somebody is now concerned because now when they think about you and they send you these different thoughts, what they're finding out is that you're going into a courtship with someone new. Yeah, they have to get their walking papers up out of your energy. And they're receiving a message of bad health soon. Wow. This is a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I picked up like six or seven different situations. And of course, they could all be connected or it could be several different things. I like to just kind of recap. <laughs> Recap for some of you, you have friends, family, and lovers who are trying to take your money and you need to stop it. You could have a lot of friends, family member, lovers, they don't support your business and they're trying to take from you out of being jealous and envious. And you're doing it because you're you feel guilty for saying no, that's codependency. You need to stop doing that. For some of you, you've left someone behind or you stopped engaging in some type of relationship with a person that you could have been working with. That person tried to retaliate against you. This could lead to you being able to actually file some type of suit if you needed to. And that person, them, their family and everything else, they're going to be in trouble for what they did to you. Because for some of you, this is serious. Your boss could have try to um be very inappropriate with you or maybe you were dating this person okay um they could have threatened to do something to you because they're married or whatever the case may be they're gonna get in trouble for for this because they never should have been bothering you anyway but they took it too far for some of you you left the person behind that person that you you left behind no I feel like you may have left the person behind, but they wanted to be with you. This person could have gotten themselves involved in some type of secret society. And they wanted to be seen as a person of high honor, a very affluent person in the community. So they may have gotten in a long term committed relationship with someone or they married a person and they you they become very wealthy. I do feel like this person could have spiritual gifts, but they've been using your spiritual gifts or your energy to manifest abundance. Now that you are, you could have met this person when you weren't as awakened as you are now. Now that you're going through this major spiritual awakening, everything that they built using your energy is crashing and falling. And it's affecting them and the person that they are in this partnership or marriage with, as well as their families. This is even affecting someone's like in-laws or extended family, because someone here is wealthy. And they take care of a lot of people. I'm also picking up an energy in this reading where for some of you, again, with your, your sexual energy, um, it needs to be on the reps. It's for some of you. Oh, I see. What, okay, I get it. Your sacral energy is finally being um, unleashed after being restricted for so long. And it may be a very, very, very powerful energy. It's the kind of energy, a divine feminine energy, where it brings about a lot of abundance. So you could have a person that you're connected with or about to connect. Somebody wants to sleep with you because it's very healing. They don't necessarily want anything from you, but they, you can heal them. Then for some of you, again, you have this really, really greedy person They've always known about their sacral energy that you have as a divine feminine. They've been stealing it. So no matter who this is, really, what this really is about is a divine feminine who has 
regain control of her own sacral energy. Your sacral energy has been used by a wealthy man or a group of men to manifest wealth, healing, and abundance. And they're in a secret society. I'm really picking up like this group of men. They're in some kind of secret society and they keep doing spell work on you to make you think that you're like a false person. They want you to believe that you're not divine, but you are, you're meant to be a privileged lady. You haven't seen your own privilege because you've been stuck working. You've been stuck working for a very long time. 